Hey YouTube friends and family. I'm a little excited today because we got this Radiohead puzzle. My lady got it about two months ago and we said, yeah, we'll forget about it and it'll be a surprise when we get it and we forgot about it. So it was a nice surprise. So uh, but to start the start the night, let's I want to give a little love and light to our friend Scott Hall from the JB Coins family. He's not feeling well. So please keep Scott in your thoughts and please let's work to uplift him. And we're going to get into some coin roll hunting, so hang tight. Welcome back, coin family. It's your friend Can Can here. Thankfully, my bank came through again this week. We've got two boxes to go through. Same numbers as last week, so hopefully they will hold some good results like we had. 7095. Check it out. It's got the peak holes, but I couldn't see anything offhand. Come on, Enders. Try to get the box back together. Hey, look, 2018. No way. What a rarity. I'm telling you, I was joking with my paisan. There's got to be one guy in Glendale just buying packs of cigarettes with 2018 Nifsies. Alright, doesn't look like any ender so far, but again, we'll see what's on the innards. I'm going to do the double boxing right now, just to kind of save on time. Let's see what we got in this bad boy. Nothing screaming silver, but this one I think I'll check a little closer. No, that's a 71. Hey, 2018. Had to get some smokes. <laughs> wow, that's a 1971. That is a shiny. I thought that was an 18, but no. Almost a 50 year old coin. Ooh, that's cool. 2011 NFC right there. That's good to see. All right, let's see what we got. Well, sorry Brad Kearney, but there are no silver enders. But stick around, we'll see what's in there and find what we can find. Box number one, roll number one. What is that ender? Are you a 2018? Let's see. Got a sinking suspicion. Hmm. Does not look promising. 77, I'll check. 77 has a no F variety. So I'll check for that. Like I saw last week, the no F variety, the 1977D has a, a no F variety as opposed to the no FG. So I will check that one. Ooh, 86. I thought it was 87. Oh well. 
keep an eye on that 77. All right, we'll check one more on camera and then I'll let you in if we find something after this. Nope. Two 2018 so far. Oh, another 1977. We'll check for the no F. Another 77D. Check for the no F. And another 2018. So one roll, three 2018s. Nothing special. All right, friends. Stay tuned. And we have finally struck silver. Box two, roll 35. 1967. Philadelphia. So just as an example, and not to keep, you know, harping on this, but seven in one roll. Seven. All right, let's wrap it up. Now here we have the Nifsies. We got a 2003 Denver, 2009 and 2009, both Denvers. Two Denver 2011s, a uh, Philadelphia 2012, and uh, a couple 2017s, which were you know fairly nice, and I guess I decided to keep them. And yes, I did keep a 2018, but it's starting to tone a little bit, so I'll just let it do its thing and see what it does. It's got a little bluish to it. I'm not sure if you can pick it up there. And this 1971 was that one that tricked me. It was an ender in the beginning that I thought maybe it was a 2018, but it's just a nice shiny 2000, or 1971 Denver. Now this one's interesting. It's a 76 bicentennial, but it looks like it's been struck through like cheesecloth or something. And uh, I'll put it over here with the other error because I'm going to put a really defined uh, scope and lens on and you'll be able to see a little better. Uh, here we have George McClellan and unfortunately he's a Union General but unfortunately they did this to a 2011 Nifsey. I have no idea why they would put that on such a nice coin but they did. And only one silver, 1967 Philadelphia. One silver out of two boxes, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes, and at least they weren't both skunks. So stay tuned for one second, and I'm going to put this thing on. So here we have the bicentennial that looks like it was just struck through cheesecloth or something, because the whole thing just has this cheesecloth <laughs> flavor to it. The reverse as well. It just has this texture in all the fields that should just be flat and I don't know what that big chunk is right there. So yeah this one is an interesting one and then here real quickly this is a 1972D and I think it might be a no F as well. Nope, no FG. So this is one of those questionable ones and you can kind of make it out, so I don't think it is. And there you have it, two full boxes of half dollars and one little, one little bit of silver. So it brings me back to this. And <clears throat> it's always a good idea, like I said, to ask for what you want and to just, you know, shop around and bounce around if you can. If you have the opportunity to go to different banks, go to them and just ask if you can trade some rolls and when they say yeah, then kind of say, hey, do you got any half dollars? So here we go. And I already peeked at this when I got into the parking lot back to the car. But here's one roll as opposed to two boxes. And I'll just give you a little heads up. Green 1967, 40 percenter. 
Well, not too bad, 1969D, 40 percenter. So this is clearly an old roll too. There's no, it's been sitting around. There's no NIFSIs. There's some older dates like from 89 and different just dates that you see that you don't see normally. But in two, in one roll, I got two silvers and in two boxes, I got one silver. So it just kind of goes to show you, you never know. And you just got to keep looking because if you don't, how will you ever find? So thanks for coming along. And again, please give good thoughts and uplifting thoughts to Scott Hall and I also want to give a belated birthday to my buddy Bill Cheslick and I also want to give some good positive thoughts to GMP Coins and his wife and to Jeannie our friend at the JMB Coins family and also to Brad Kearney and his family so be well count your blessings and not your problems peace <laughs>